At the Indo Defence 2022 event, PT Durgantara Indonesia PTDI, signed an MOU with well known helicopter manufacturer Sikorsky, a subsidiary of Lockheed Martin, from the United States. The two companies agreed to jointly explore the potential for the sale, production, and delivery of the Sikorsky S 70I Black Hawk helicopter to Indonesia. It is hoped that the Black Hawk helicopter can be operated by all three TNI dimensions. It is known that the Indonesian Air Force relies on the NAS 332 Super Puma and EC-725 Karakal. TNIAD has NBEL-412 and MI-17. Meanwhile, the Indonesian Navy operates the NBEL-412 and AS-565 Panther. Opportunities open for sales to Indonesia came from the Indonesian Army Aviation Center, Puspenerbat, which was interested in acquiring the S-70I. General Andika Perkasa conveyed this desire when he was the Army Chief of Staff. At that time, he was reviewing a joint exercise, LATMA, between the Indonesian Army and the U.S. Army titled the 15th Garuda Shield on August 1-14, 2021. Regarding the S-70 Black Hawk, the name used for the global market, U-60 for the U.S., it was developed as a successor to the Bell U-1 multi-purpose helicopter carrier in the early 1970s. For specifications, the S-70I is operated by a crew of two, pilot and co-pilot, and can carry 11 armed troops. As the driving force are two General Electric T-700 GE 701D turboshaft engines, each with a power of 1,940 shapefile, 1,450 kilowatt. Has a performance with a maximum speed of 361 km per hour a flight altitude of up to 6,100 meters and an operating range of 460 kilometers. During the Indo Aerospace 2022 exhibition, part of the Indo Defense 2022 event, the Royal Brunei Air Force's S-70I Black Hawk took part in a dynamic demonstration at Halim Perdanakusuma Air Base South Terminal.